Are you excited for Attack on Titan Season 3? So what's up guys, Fox Nier. Recently, you checked out the much-hyped Attack on Titan Season 3 trailer. Now it's time for a more in-depth breakdown for that Season 3 trailer. By the way, this will include some spoilers for the Uprising arc. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I gotta talk about the big player in Season 3, Kenny. You've now heard a few lines from Kenny's voice actor in the trailer. Kenny is gonna be voiced by Kazuhiro Yamaji. Here's a couple of popular characters he's voiced. Hit from Dragon Ball Super. Bang from One Punch Man. That author dude from Psychopaths. And yeah, because no one remembers this guy's name. And also, there is an SAO connection. He's voiced Asuna's father. And just for fun, from some of his Japanese dubbing, he's done Wolverine, Bane, and Darth Maul. Overall, Kenny will definitely be one of his biggest roles yet. Next up, another new player, Rod Reyes. You may know Rod Reyes as Historia's real father. They actually have officially announced the voice casting for this guy. Voicing Rod is Yusaku Yara. So get this, I was trying to go down any notable characters that he's voiced. He's voiced so many supporting ones, but no one that really stands out. Probably the biggest one was Ironheart from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, and from live action dubbing, he did do Boba Fett from Star Wars. So yeah, him voicing Rod will definitely be one of his most important roles yet. Potentially one of the biggest. Right now, I'm really just wondering if they'll do anything special for his Titan voice. Anyway, on to the shot by shot breakdown. I mentioned before that I'm freaking loving Kenny's voice actor. Although I have seen from some of you that think he sounds a little too old. Funny enough, from the Attack on Titan Season 3 trailer, I got the exact opposite impression. For me, Kenny here gives off the feeling that he's a lot younger than he really is. I haven't been able to find an exact age, but Kenny should at least be whatever Levi is plus 20 years. So at earliest, early 50s, or if you really want to be generous, late 40s. Whatever the case here, Kenny definitely doesn't look past 30 here. Maybe late 30s? Kenny looks especially ready to take out some mofos, and freaking smiling while doing it too. I guess it all has to do with those Ackerman genes. As for Kenny's upgraded 3D maneuver gear, the design of it looks a little more improved from the manga version of it. At least right here, it looks like it was made with a lot more care, instead of something randomly put together like the appearance from the manga. Although to be fair, in the manga it does look pretty rough. There's pretty much a night and day difference to the uprising arc in the manga and what's going on now. Next up, the trailer gives you this close-up shot of Kenny's gun of choice. Right here you could clearly see the star design and that wooden handle part. Just to the right, Kenny's carrying around maybe 6 or 8 of those pistol attachments on each leg. This will definitely come in handy when you gotta kill some naughty soldiers. Once again, overall it just feels a lot more polished compared to the source material. Next up, you got the shot of the barrels balancing on the rooftop after being discarded, which I'm really loving this shot, just because it almost makes me feel the weight of all these steel tubes from it. At this point, you can already see one of the Dead Star Record members on the top left. If you recall, Kenny's special squad managed to get a drop on Levi. They pretty much killed everyone except Levi at this point. As for this whole first scene, this is what happens at the end of chapter 57. Assuming they're going to be covering roughly 2 chapters per episode, you could get this on episode 3 or 4. Keep in mind though, that Isayama did mention something about making various changes to the Uprising arc. Who knows how many of these scenes could potentially be moved around for the anime. Next up, Eren's Almighty Titan. They did decide to show Eren's Titan pretty early on in the trailer. Unfortunately, as you might recall, Eren's Titan doesn't really get much action in the Uprising arc. Not until the very end of it. All you gotta work with is Eren's transformation from Hanji's lovely experiments. So far, I've seen so many anime-only people confused about this shot. Why in the world does Eren's Titan look so freaking skinny? Did he go into a carbless diet? Could Eren already be dying? Or is this some completely new Titan? And all of these questions are just some of the more interesting ones I've seen. But of course, this is all from Hanji's Titan experiments, where she was pretty much using Eren as their honorable Titan guinea pig. Hanji really wanted Eren to get his Titan hard for her. But you know, Eren was having problems. Just notice here that this shot isn't exactly from the manga, not one for one. But judging from the smaller size of Eren's Titan, this could have been the second time, which was when he lost control. Now, let me bring up the second scene from the trailer about this. This time, Eren looks even worse. So this one should be from the third time that Eren transformed. 
At this point, his poor titan couldn't even stand on his own. Plus, Eren was a lot more fused with his titan and staking out. You could actually see this part in the trailer. It was pretty quick, but Eren's bottom half is poking out. Next up, did you notice this? How they're really highlighting this blonde woman from Kenny's special squad. She was one of the top ones picked directly by Kenny. What's interesting is that she doesn't really appear in this scene. Not during the whole Levi vs. Kenny scene anyway. You first see her when Levi is already long gone and trying to get his ass out of there. It's then that afterwards, she talks to Kenny for a little bit. So this is what I'm thinking right now. Other than Kenny, this blonde woman might get more fleshed out and even be more of a highlight for the anime series. And I think it makes sense, especially when you consider how close she was with Kenny. By the way, from this whole shot, do notice this. When Kenny's squad does get up there to the rooftop, Kenny is still in the same spot on that roof. This right here is a change from the manga. At that point, Kenny had already started chasing after Levi before anyone got there. So this just means there are some changes coming for this whole scene overall. Next up, the first Historia shot from the Season 3 trailer. At this point, Historia is having some type of conversation with Eren. Really, nothing too special about this particular shot. Compared to the manga, just notice that this happens around chapter 54. So expect this scene to play out around episode 2 or 3. This would be the scene of them sitting out their operation while their stunt that was got kidnapped. That's right, get ready to see female Armin. Next up, Mr. Badass himself, Commander Irwin. Really only a headshot in this trailer. From the background, it looks like this should be the scene of him talking to Pixies. And I gotta say, I'm pretty excited to see the return of this lovable old guy. Attack on Titan Season 1 did an amazing job plussing any scenes with Pixies. So I'm really excited to see some of his interactions with Commander Irwin. Next up, you got the shot of Eren, Mikasa, and Levi. And what's this? Eren's sporting a gun here. At first, I was thinking this was a shot possibly just before their assault on the military police. But actually, it's a shot from chapter 53, which is pretty early on, so about episode 2 or 3. Notably, it looked pretty dark in the manga, so I'm guessing they're doing it a little bit earlier, just so it's easier to see everyone. Next up, the pasture. For certain reasons, the pasture doesn't get too much time in the Uprising arc, so this should be very early on. This definitely should be from episode 1. Next up, you got a face shot of Hanji. To be honest, for this one, it was pretty hard to pin down where exactly this was from, from the manga. It's just a headshot after all. Hanji is smiling here, so this might be during their little torture scene. So get ready for 50 Shades of Hanji. Next up, the Almighty King. So this is the first time you're seeing the king. Well, for anime-only people. I have seen some of you mention that you expected this guy to have blonde hair. But for me, I always picture this guy with gray hair. He always came off as looking very old and worn out. As for the wide throne room shot, you can see five of his advisors. Notably, the guy in the middle, just based on that necklace, looks like one of the church guys. Potentially one of the higher up ones. Then look at this guy next to the right window. Could this be Rod? It makes sense that Rod would be one of his advisors, although he never appeared here in the manga. Next up, you got Mikasa Ackerman kicking some ass in the trailer. Two specific shots. What's interesting is that I'm already seeing a lot of changes for Mikasa's action scenes. For starters, in the shot where Mikasa tosses this guy, that specific move that she did was actually done by Levi in the manga. So why the change? Is Mikasa going to be getting more action? If so, what does that now mean for Levi? What's he doing here? Another thing to notice is that this whole warehouse scene really only had three main guys being taken out. After everything is over, you do see a couple more of them tied up, later. Here, now notice the guy from the second action scene of Mikasa's. You got Mikasa roundhouse kicking this fellow. Which, by the way, that guy flying after that kick looked extremely weird for something in Attack on Titan. But anyway, what's important here is who this guy is. This is actually Reeves' son. The change here is that he's never seen in this warehouse scene in the manga. The son is important later, so it looks like Isayama might change this so he appears a little earlier on. By the way, notice how the son drops a gun too. I'm betting this is going to be another change. Mr. Reeves is going to try to pick this one up, then try to shoot Mikasa. Luckily, the potato girl is there to save her ass. Next up, the shot of Levi busting out his blade. This shot is actually lifted directly from the manga. It's when Levi throws one of his blades and at the same time dodges the incoming Kenny Blast. Next up, you have a shot of one of the Survey Corps members that was with Levi. This right here is literally maybe 5-10 seconds before his head is blown off. 
Right now, I'm just wondering how messy will they make their faces in the anime? Based on some of the stuff you see in the trailer, it could be potentially very, very bloody. Next up, you have the shot of Levi running on the rooftop and trying to get his ass out of there. Right now, I'm really loving what they did for this scene, which was only half a panel shot in the manga. By the way, just notice here on the top left, one of the Serbi Corps members is already taken out. I should also mention that a lot of people are mentioning the change in animation style for this scene specifically. It seems that the West Studio is doing some slight changes just to make it easier to do more complex and fluid animation. This will probably help them use less still images. If you recall back from season 2, in the later half of that, they did end up using a whole lot of still images, which a lot of people complained about. Next up, some bloody Levi. You got the scene of Levi slicing these two mofus. Notice here that at this point, Levi has already lost his survey core cape. If anyone's still worried about some possible censorship for season 3, I would point you to this scene. This trailer shot is already super bloody. I think the only real change here is that they don't really focus on the neck of these guys being cut. But I think that's fine. And who knows, later on they could show some close-up shots if you really want. Finally, the end shot, which is Levi screaming out Kenny's name. They did already mention that Levi would be a highlight for season 3. And from this trailer, it definitely looks like it. They have mentioned that they were bringing in a famous director to direct one episode in season 3. I'm thinking that this might be that episode, since there's so much action involved. As for some possible concerns for Attack on Titan Season 3, let me bring this up. Very recently, one of the studios that the WIT Studio outsourced Attack on Titan work to has closed down. I've seen some chatter online about this potentially affecting Attack on Titan Season 3. So, is this potentially going to be a problem? The WIT Studio did do a lot of outsourcing for Season 1 and Season 2, especially the first season. Right now, let me mention this. I have heard that the WIT Studio has hired some of the animators and related people that have done Attack on Titan work for them recently. And here's another important thing to notice, that even though this huge outsourcing studio closed down, this isn't the only type of studio that exists for this type of service. Out of all the anime studios, a huge chunk of them exists for this sole purpose. So really, no reasons to worry right now. Next up, let me bring this up about something in the trailer. At the very end of this trailer, you see this 24 figure. I've seen a lot of people confused about this. This 24 number is not a confirmation for 24 episodes in Season 3. It actually says 2435, which is the time that Attack on Titan Season 3 will be airing on TV, which is technically going to be Sunday at 12.35am. And about the 24 episodes, so far there is no official claim on this. The only confirmation has been unofficially from Yonko Productions. However, let me mention this. In the Season 3 cast credits, they do list Reiner and Bert. So at least right here, there is some hope for two arcs being covered. Although let me mention that nowhere is Zeke's voice actor listed. Hmm, perhaps they're just avoiding spoilers? Either way, just take that information and do whatever you want with it. But anyway, overall based on everything I've seen here, I am really looking forward to seeing all the improvements from the anime for the Uprising arc. It might be crazy, but this arc might be better than season 2. I don't think that's impossible. But anyway, more important, let me hear your thoughts on this. How hyped are you for Attack on Titan Season 3 after watching the trailer? And what do you think about all the various changes you've seen so far, especially the ones I mentioned? How bloody do you want Season 3 to be? Do you think Season 3 could surpass what you got for Attack on Titan Season 2? Anyway, be sure to give this a colossal thumbs up and subscribe. More juicy Attack on Titan videos are coming every week. By the way, I will be doing weekly breakdowns for Season 3 episodes when it starts, which is super soon. Right now, be sure to check out all my spring anime breakdowns I'm covering, and I'll see you guys later.